you get what I'm saying? Check it out. Now, let me tell you this, man. Social media will get you out of character, okay? Usually, and by the way, I hate to quote my favorite rapper, but shit, I gotta quote it. Sometimes, like, when you are someone who gets mentioned a lot, you'll see a comment, it takes you out of character, makes you want to respond, you want to say something mean, you want to see who that person is. A lot of times, it's a real fucking kid, okay? It's somebody who just wants a reaction, or they're a fucking troll themselves, all right? Now, some people, they're really quick with the thumb or the fingers because they want to respond. We call it Twitter fingers or whatever, Insta fingers you want to call it, right? Now, Cardi B is one of these people, all right? She's very emotional, and um, again, listen, she's just one of those people who d- still isn't used to people trolling her. Now, she posted up a picture of her and Offset getting like a his and hers Lamborghini, a car that costs a lot of fucking money, and of instantly, instant fucking Lee. Also, by the way, you know, Nikki fans can't wait to piss her off every day. Anyway, instantly, people start saying, you rented that shit. You rented it. You're leasing it. You didn't buy it. And here's the thing. Cardi B felt so defended that she posted her bank account. Now, there, I have so many problems with this. And by the way, let me read her tweet with the post that she made. She said, wait, what happened? I leased what? When you go to Wells Fargo and withdraw your whole car payment, don't play with Bardi. Okay? Now, of course, imagine I was saying that in some fucking Bronx ratchet chick like accent. But regardless, man, Cardi, I'm not gonna lie. Even though you were trying to sun your haters and you kinda did, you sunned yourself. They got you out of character that you're posting your fucking bank account statement. You kinda fucking lost. This is the internet, okay? By the way, this shit's all smoke and mirrors. If you really did buy the car, you should be comforted by the fact that you know that motherfuckers is not knowing what you really on. Again, you just proved to everybody that they can say something enough to piss you off to get a reaction that they want. Now you've posted your goddamn account. Now people know that you're banking with Wells Fargo. And of course, your, your account number is not there. But you were triggered to the point that you felt like you had to defend yourself. And I don't know if it made you feel good. But all it did is made people go on to the next topic because they could get that reaction out of you. Unfortunately, Cardi B, and by the way, Cardi, you got to learn some shit about money. And I'm pretty sure you do because you have accountants and smart people around you. You're managed by a solid foundation, which is QC. They're dealing with a lot of money. Renting or even leasing a car is not a bad thing as long as you're not acting like you own the car that you say you rented. If you leased it, you, that's yours for a couple of years. But leasing a car is not bad. Actually, this is a pretty dumb move. If you paid $548,000 for a fucking car payment, a car that depreciates by the second, every minute you have it as soon as you drove it off the lot, that's not a motherfucking win. That's not something that appreciates. That is something that depreciates. Sooner or later, give it 10 years, that car won't be worth $100,000 and you just paid over $500,000 for it. Cardi B, I don't think this was the smartest choice, but of course, I understand you're learning and you're getting adjusted to trolls and other things, and as well, I'm going to give you some credit while I'm critiquing you. You go through and you tolerate a lot of shit, and listen, I've been guilty of this. It's usually that one motherfucker, you see that comment at the wrong time, and you just fucking snap, you respond. But I'm going to tell you, in hindsight, you obviously know because you kind of deleted this whole thing. You shouldn't have posted your bank account for a bunch of bums who are trying to act like you don't have money. You've made millions. You don't got to prove to no one. Post your bank account was the ultimate, let me show you what I got. And uh, buying a car for 500000 I don't know if that was his best financial decision. All right, get a car, Marks. guys like them, subscribe. Congrats to Cardi B and also Offset. They had a beautiful baby. Uh, of course, this was probably a present not only to signify and solidify the fact that they're now a family, but they're married as well. So congrats to her for that. But this ain't no real dub. I ain't gonna lie. Get a car, Marks. guys like them, subscribe. Did Cardi catch a dub or an L in this? Let me know. It's Wacky Dummies. Oh.